Hi guys, this is the world famous K-Rock. I'm Nicole Alvarez and I sound like poop, but I'm sitting here with two members of Arcade Fire, so I'm excited. I know I sound like a little boy. We were just talking about peeing in Spain. In public. In public. Do you want to do you want to explain it so that I don't sound like a freak? I'm trying to if you were in a helicopter flying above it, it would look like the middle of a flower. It would look like an X with four men peeing into it at the same time. Yeah, it, it was like a sit and spin but for men to actually pee. from above it you would because it looks like everyone's peeing towards each other yeah and he made listening he's like what are they talking about and i why? went i went to pamplona and did the running of the bulls and the next day i went to bilbao to watch these guys play. i don't condone that no i listen <laughs> no bulls got hurt on my day but, but i do <laughs> condone bilbao bilbao is red i promise you the bulls didn't get hurt i promise on not on my day but Lies. then I watched you guys play outside of the Guggenheim, which was probably, would you say, one of the more special places that you've played? That was pretty amazing, for sure. Yeah. Memorable. There's the giant Jeff Koons dog made of flowers. Like yes, I took so many pictures of the damn dog. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Um, I also, another epic Arcade Fire, well, not Arcade Fire show, but I went to the final LCD sound system show yeah. and watching, you know, watching North American scum. I was just like, this is the greatest night of my life. That's the only time I've ever sung, I've been singing on a mic. <laughs> Ever. Ever? Ever. Are you mic shy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> not right now. You're I'm doing a great sing. job. I skipped that. I was shell-shocked. We were in Haiti like the... The like day before. Hours yeah. before that. So I you skipped it because you were tired? I was just like, I cannot go to a rock show. My mind is still on It was a Haiti. pretty that memorable. That was a real culture shock. Yeah. It was a memorable night. It was night. good, yeah. Sure was. I'm glad I did it, but it was the experience was doubly crazy because of yeah. where we had been 24 hours before. Well, and everybody in the venue was asked to wear black and white, and everybody was going crazy. This leads me to James Murphy, who produced the new album. How is working with James Murphy? I'm such a huge fan of theirs of LCD sound system and yours and so the collaboration how did that come about uh, I mean he's been a friend of ours for years and we talked about working together even back like when we were doing neon Bible and it just never worked out so we just kind of yeah we just figured out a way to make it work this time and it so was purely scheduling that it didn't happen earlier. yeah purely scheduling. you guys are busy so is he. He's What's he like really yeah he, and he likes to always have his hands in so many things what's he like to work with Handy. Handy? <laughs> <laughs> please explain. A lot of hands. No. I mean, please, please explain because really I am thinking of the wrong thing. He's good. We kind of, we actually had been pretty far along in the album and then he brought him in and just had him have an opinion on things. And so some songs he got really stoked about working on, some songs just he didn't gravitate towards and... We kind of just left it as boring and as natural as that. Like it wasn't, a, there was no grand scheme. It was just like, let's have James come in and see if he feels like see what, doing see what's a thing. Up. And yeah. he's also like, he's also mega handy. You keep saying that. <laughs> no, he was doing, I'm starting he was to doing lots of, like he was involved. He's always involved in 10 million things all at the same time as are we. Yeah. And so it was kind of like, he would just kind of come in and be like, okay, I got to go make a film in Japan. See you guys later. So peace and out. He would for a few weeks <laughs> and he would oh, come before back. we before you go, we should finish the song. He's like, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> and is he able? He's able to just crank it out. Well, I, or push us to crank it out. Or push yeah, you to yeah. crank it out. Okay. Or sometimes you're like, you're like, yeah, finished, and then you're totally not finished, but at least you've finished, unquote. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then you then he comes back in three weeks, and you're like, let's finish it again. Did it make it easy that you were already friends with him? Or is yeah, that no, sometimes? Because sometimes easy. it can affect a friendship. You never know people's no, work it was, habits. It was that's fine. the only. We actually. I don't think we've ever really worked with anyone that we're not friends. Like, we already have so much opinion in the band. And I mean, there's a lot of you. There's yeah. a lot of us. And so if... if, if a lot of hands. We Pretty hands, hands. Band. hands. <laughs> it wouldn't work for any of us to work with someone that we didn't like because it's, it's just like, it's too complicated. <laughs> You guys, uh, the last time you played Coachella was probably my absolute favorite, especially when you brought out those balls. That was fun. So do you have anything special planned for tonight? The running of the balls. The running of the balls. I got hit in the face with some of your balls. Um, you know, the light up ones. The light up ones. The people that saw Arcade Fire know what I'm talking about. You and your hands, you guys. Do you have anything special planned? Like, did you approach this differently? Nope. Nope? <laughs> awesome. What about the rumors of special guests? Nope. <laughs> okay. Are you excited to play on Easter Sunday? Yes. Yay! Okay, and then... No, I mean, we're... The nice thing is we've been on tour already, so we're playing well, which is different You're than nice usual. nice and tight. <laughs> it's the first time we're rolling in relaxed. 
usually it's like after a long break and we haven't set foot on stage and we're unrehearsed. And well, like Outcast no the other night was their first show. Yeah, that's like you guys are crazy. Who did you? Who have you watched at the festival? We haven't been there yet. I haven't been. Oh, really? Yep. Ah, oh, sweet. I well, you should check some out. Anyways, Super Chunk. If you is this live? No, yeah, no. Yeah, so uh, I saw Super Chunk. It was good. I saw uh, Lana Del Rey. It was good. I probably saw Motorhead for 10 minutes. It was awesome. And uh, I don't know who else is tonight. Neutral Milk Hotel. Very nice. You if have this is taped. No, you have a, I like your, you have a devilish <laughs> grin. <laughs> yeah, it's a tape, but it's broadcast in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> I'm Busted. watching Super Chunk right now. It's so good. Okay, so you guys are also playing Jazz Fest, which I think is absolutely the coolest yeah. thing ever. How did that come about? We've played it before and had such a great time that I probably, whenever we get asked to do that, we'll say yes. Fact. Is it a different vibe completely? We'd like be playing yes. probably yes. actually right yes. now. Yes, it's a completely different vibe. What's different about it? It's during the day, for one. Are you more a day band or a night band? What do you prefer? We thought we were a night band, but that one was great. That was maybe the best day show of, of recent memory. Like the last band finishes at 6 or 6.30, and it's oh, awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then you're absolutely done. You're done, yeah. yeah. And you go and eat crawfish. So for this tour, you have a DJ. You're doing like nonstop music, so there's never a lull or anything. Yeah. Um, whose idea was that? And are you enjoying it? Is it working? It's great. It's fun. Yeah, no, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Who came up with it? We just were brainstorming on how to make an arena tour not feel so much like an arena tour. Just so at least for some people. For us as, and then for the for audience. Us. But for both. And also, like, how do you make an arena show not feel like an annoying arena show for an audience? Because like, everyone's been to a million shitty shows in arenas. And it's like, how, do you, how can you humanize it and make it be fun? So that was one. The idea was like, how can we... And we did all the all the release shows for this record we did in a really small club, really sweaty and just like the best. And it was like, how can we possibly try and make this translate into arenas, which is kind of what we have to play if we want to play to all the people that want to come to see the band. And it's annoying to super underplay, you know. So it's like, okay, well we have to play these big spaces. What can we what's do in to our fill power? The space. Yeah, yeah, how do you fill the yeah, space yeah, no. so we like, you know, make a kind of a fake roof in the arenas well, like lights that come down and are close over your head so it feels more like you're in a club and when even just having like the as people come in there's already music happening yeah which is a really oh, that's different great feeling because you're, yeah. you're you're so pumped and you're so like well, you're, you're just, just like oh i'm already walking into the thing that's happening so besides yeah. going to watch music you love it's an experience you leave that show like you have experienced something different and you can't even put your finger on what but it's the best kind of show hopefully so thank you now you know what else i've always wondered there are so many of you and you probably all have different opinions how do you come together and make it all work and do you ever fight you look so happy all the time together that is the longest most complicated answer in the world and yes we do fight you do fight <laughs> yeah okay sure. cool sure i mean if i think if you're working on something that you hopefully feel passionate about then you probably will fight even if point. it's like even if there's six people in a room together on the internet for a year you're gonna fight like try six people in a room making a record for a year with a lot of passion behind it exactly yeah well you guys are you've given me so many great moments and so many people that i know have magic times with arcade fire so thank you so much thank you yeah what is your favorite favorite thing that you've done as a band or played or your uh, your highlight whoa yeah, I know you've had a lot, but one that comes to mind if I say, when did you have like a pinch me moment? Like, I can't believe this is real. I've had those at your shows. Hmm. Hmm. I hope you have one. Yeah, yeah, but that's a big, that's a, that's a, we've been playing shows together for like so over long. years. Okay, yeah. you don't have to name your favorite, but like one that stands out. A good moment. A good moment that you left there like, damn, that was good. We, I mean, we played the other day and we were just on a South American tour and we just played in Sao Paulo where the people are the best in Brazil. Yeah, no, 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 I know, fellow Portuguese. Oh, okay, yeah. so there you go. <laughs> Sao Paulo is like the most musical people you could possibly play for. And it, we've had people, you know, we've played lots of festival shows where people will sing along with the choruses and things like that. But in Sao Paulo, Everybody not only sings along with the choruses, but every word of every verse, and also the, like guitar, the, the guitar riffs. <laughs> like, yeah, 
from like 30,000 And then people. if you try and have a conversation with any of these people, they don't even speak English, but they know every single word. Those people great. are passionate. Yeah, so if you guys ever get a chance to go to Sao Paulo, I recommend it highly. Yeah, amazing. Well, thank you guys so much. I know you're going to play tonight, and I'm very, very, very excited. It's like saving the best for last, and I get you two weekends in a row, so that's awesome. Thank you to Arcade Fire for coming by. Shake on it. Nice. I'm handy too. I'm handy too. Handy. <laughs> Thank you guys. We're live in India. I'm Nicole Alvarez for K Rock.